All right. We are doing this. There we go. So, welcome to the Crystalline Mean Questline series, where it's it's pretty much the Shadowbringers um, storyline for Crafting and Gathering. So let's get started. You look like you got skills of some sort we need. Would you be interested in putting them to use at the Mean? Sure. Wonderful. We can never have we we can never have enough hands to do all the work we want that wants doing. To help get you started, I'll give you an overview of our operations. Just let me know when you'll have a moment. Alright. Ready to learn about our operations? Good, good. So, as I may have already told you, the cluster I mean is a center is a center for the procurement and production of of those items that make city life possible. From daily necessities to military provisions, we deal in just about anything. A storehouse and a workshop roll rolled into one. Uh, we are now the mean <clears throat> is comprised of five fast facets. That's our fancy name for divisions. Each facet is a collective of folk skilled in certain fields who work together to provide for the Crystarium. Firstly, there's the facet of forging. As you can probably glean from the name, its members are experts in metalworking. The woman you see there is Lola, the, propri the proprietress of the Iron Bellows. I'm told she's been solely pressed for help lately. Next, we have the facet of crafting, which brings together artisans who work with leather, cloth, and wood. Among them, there's even a lass who specializes in the restoration of artwork, traditional and traditional handcrafts. Handicrafts. She doesn't appear to be present at the moment, though. Moving on. We have the facet of nurturing, whose mission is to ensure that our descendants are fed and healthy. And I speak not only of people, but even if there is a resident vegetarian, and he's charged with looking after our trusty, oh, veterinarian. And he's charged with looking after our trusty Amar Amaros. Then there's the facet of gathering. Formed of miners and botanists who procure resources all across Narabat. Overseeing the group is Quincy, a knowledgeable, if eccentric woman. If you're gonna, if you have an inquiring mind like her, though, I dare say you'll get along. Last but not least, the facet of fishing. Aside from reeling in the bounty of the realm's waters. Members also cultivate marine life. Fernick there speaks for the gathering, and whatever folk may say of his leadership, none can doubt his skills and knowledge as a fisher. And that's the five facets of the crystal I mean. Under the direction of the settlement council, each does its part to ensure the survival of the crystalium. And that's the idea at any rate. The reality is most facet members are individuals with individual intents, interests. They're often busy with their own endeavors and can't always make a meaningful contribution to the common cause. What this means is what this means is the mean suffers from the chronic shortage of hands, and every facet is always looking to bolster its roster with new talents. I encourage you to make yourself known to whichever one it's a fit of your skills. Which technically would be all of them. You can now offer your services to each of the facets of the crystalline mean. All that. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing it comes down to... Carpenter, leather worker, and weaver. Blacksmith, armor, and goldsmith. Fishing. Uh, 
alchemist of culinary. So that means she runs, uh, okay. I guess we'll slowly go around to do them all. I think it's like each quest is like three. <clears throat> it's like three quests per, and then a massive one at the end. That brings them all together. Just give me a moment. I'm gonna open the curtains. Turn off this thing. It is. It's starting to look nice outside, somewhat. And Is it a slight aesthetic? Okay. Let's get started. No more messing around. I've delayed this for far too long, and it's time we get it done. Upon completing this quest, you'll be able to undertake Crystorium deliveries for the Pesca Gallery. You must be a minor botanist of a level of 70 or above to proceed. On the trail of a myth. Uh, yes, yes. What do you need? Every man in his armor wants something today, so I, I thank you to make it quick. I'm here to help you. Oh, not here for materials. What are you here for, then? I didn't actually ask for a name, but all right, Ronald Stoppable, whoever you are. What? Did you expect me to know you? Because I don't. You are clearly new here. Where are you from, anyway? From the same land as the Exarch. <clears throat> Truly. I always wanted to ask the Exarch about his mysterious homeland. But he's a very busy man. And there never seems to be a good time. So tell me, in this land you hail from. Does there have to be a creature called a Samuel? <clears throat> no, that's a shame. Well, time for me to take to the field once more. I'll find you yet, my precious Samuel. Mark my words. Go to water. Sheep, where are you? <clears throat> Wait, just a... You there. Stop that woman. Okay. I, uh, what's happening? Begging your pardons. But did the chief mention where she was headed? <clears throat> Outside again. Does she know how much trouble she causes when she's uh, when she abandons her post? Forgive me, it's not my my intent to take it out on you. I'm ya Yalana of the Hortor Hortorium, and the woman I'm furious with is Chief Quincy Ray Ray of the Facet of Gathering. Seeing as we only just met, I'm loath to ask this of you, but could you go after the chief? I'm afraid I don't have the wind to give chase. In all likelihood, <clears throat> be headed to the Amaro launch. If you hurry, you might be able to catch her before she leaves the Crystarium and goes off to heaven's nowhere. Thank you so much. When you find her, please see that she comes to the Hor Horotorium. Hororium. Hororium. Meanwhile, I'll keep an eye out nearby just in case. <clears throat> I have to go to the launch seems I'm not climbing that look at that oh. it's got a rain in the game it rained all day today outside it's finally nice enough that it 
It's not. I'm gonna have the curtains open temporarily. <laughs> Oh, it's you again. What do you need now? Wait, don't tell me you wish to assist with my field work. Isn't that right? Well, who am I to deny such enthusiasm? Come along, my friend. Come along. Oh, of all the people to see me leave, it had to be Yalana. I wasn't even planning to be away long. Alright, alright, I'll head to the order on. You're coming too, right? Of course, I'm sure. Yolanda will want to thank you for doing a fine job of capturing me. Oh, I don't know where you're trying to take me. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, I can. Future reference. Oh, it's... Okay, it's this area. I think it's that area. I know where they want me to go. It's just... It's been so long since I've been here. I need to be on the ground. There we go. Okay, we made it. What is happening in this place? <laughs> Excuse me. How oh, dare you are. Thank you so much for finding the chief. Now, we don't have much to offer in the way of hospitality, but as a small token of good for you, I'd be happy to tell you about our facility. Here at the Honora Aquarium, we primary conduct, primarily conduct agricultural research to improve our ability to cultivate crops. On any given day, you'll find us developing new plant strains, fertilizers, and experimenting with new cultivation techniques. The fruits of our labor find use at Sweet Slave, Sweet Sarah, Sweet Eve, Christarium's Orchard, Provides food for our citizens. At the behest of the facet of gallery, we also analyze resources found across Nurova. <clears throat> indeed, indeed, our miners and botanists sometimes make unusual finds, and these are bought here for closer examination. You see, the task of the fossils of gathering isn't simply to gather. We also strive to identify and manage resources. In a world such as ours, we must use our resources responsibly, that they might be conserved for prosper posterity. In a sense, what we do is not unlike the work of those folks called naturalists in the days before the flood. This stands testament to man's endearing and unquenchable desire to cast the light upon the unknown, be it flora or fauna or otherwise. <clears throat> unlike what? As you can see, the chief is something of a character. But in spite of her oddities, she's respected by her colleagues and peers. This is because her knowledge is vital in ensuring that the Crystarium is well preserved, provisioned, I mean, 
Though, from my perspective, it's difficult to see her as little more than a self-absorbed woman who buries us with endless tasks. Wow. When I sought her out earlier, it was to deliver the results of our latest an latest analysis. But what should I find by her trying to sneak outside? It's not the first time either. Late. Late. Of late, she's been obsessed with finding the the, the semio. A nigh mythical creature and runs off wherever my back is turned. She's not a child anymore, for goodness sake. And you're not my mother. If you keep up that nagging, your wrinkles are liable to grow wrinklers. Wow. Come, Ronald. Let's flee this place, else Yolanda will turn us into fertilizer. That's kind of mean. Right off again, <clears throat> and I have no wrinkles, thank you very much. Oh, back to the mean, I guess. Oh, yeah, now we can figure out how to actually get down here easily. <clears throat> So it's up even farther. Way up. Way up. Too far up. Music are you gonna a market? But we managed to escape the harpy's clutches. Don't tell Yolanda. I said that. She has no sense of her humor, nor does she understand the romance of a magical creature. Now then, you weren't familiar with this area. As I recall, it's the name of an ancient and enormous beast, a uh, moored legend. How enormous, you say? If you've been to Amarang, Amar, Amarang, uh, you may have seen a colossal colossal rib cage. That's how enormous this is, assuming it, it indeed belonged to the Samuel. We're still we're still not certain at this age. You see, <clears throat> while there are tales of people being licked or nearly stepped on, rather bafflingly, no one alive has managed to catch sight of the creature. Until now, at any rate, while attending an excavation, one of the Horatorum's researchers claimed to have been have a cat of what he believed was Samuel. <laughs> I have good I have a good feeling about this. Uh, the mere thought of shedding light on this mystery sets your heart flutter, does it not? But of course it does. And you wish to find the Samuel as much as I do. Very well, I hereby name you Captain Stoffel of the Samurai Search Squad. With your combination of combat and gathering powers, I'm confident you'll do an excellent job, especially with me as your intelligence officer. At least you worry that Yolanda will come nagging. Know that our mission is entirely serious and within the scope of the Boston's objectives. After all, knowledge is knowledge of fauna 
and all fauna are real are fauna are real until proven otherwise. It's crucial to resource managing. But without further ado, my dear captain, I bid you venture forth to Amarino. Where you are to search for evidence of the Samuel. I await your discoveries. Huh? Crystallium deliveries. Wait a sec. Classes are now available by delivering the requested items. Ah, oh, is this a weekly thing? Each facet of the crystal has a list of required deliveries. Except items. The items for touch will be according to your level and may be gathered by you. Classes. The esteemed gauge will build each to fill the gauge and your esteemed level will increase, allowing you to progress through the story. Okay. So we're looking for animal traces. So we're looking for animal traces. Um will this specimen yield a breakthrough and the search for the similar one at time? Fine. 12, 13, 12, 15, 16. I need 18, I guess. So I guess they go down here, right? Okay. Well, let me go do that, I guess. This is more interesting than I thought. Alright. We got the items. It didn't even take that long. It took like 10 seconds. You bought me evidence of the Samurai from Amarin? Ah, oh, the anticipation of finding a lead is so he so heady. I can scarcely focus on my duties. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. What now? This claw belonged to quite a large beast. I dare hope it will yield valuable information on this animal. My thanks. Deliver the items and deliver them often to learn more about them. Huh. Ah, among the specimens you bought back, one in particular stood out. A claw fragment that reveals that of no known creature out there. This is definitely worth requesting an analysis of the horatorium. Wait a moment while I fetch one of their researchers. Mm. Well, anyway, allow me to introduce you. Introduce, allow me to introduce my lad. He works closely with Yalana, the poor bastard, and analyzes researchers resources for us. But most importantly, he is a researcher I mentioned who claims to have encountered the Simeo. Go on, recount your tale. On that day, I traveled to Almoran with a crew of miners in order to survey an excavation site. We were going about our work when, without warning, a massive shadow flew, fell over us. Startled, we looked up to see what it was, only to, find, only to find empty sky. Whatever was there had vanished. It didn't move away, but vanished, shadow and all. That was no cloud or bird, no, it could only be the ghost of the Samuel whispered uh, and more legends. 
So not once did you ever think that maybe it was a sin either. Oh, my boy. It's, it ill becomes a man of learning to resort to fanciful tales for an explanation. Here, take a look at this specimen that Ronald discovered, and you'll see that what you encountered was not some ghost of the Samuel, but the Samuel himself. Or a sin eater. This resembles the call of a lizard. If there aren't any species near. Nearly so massive it uh Amorang. Assuming the creature it came from it is a quad quadra quadrupe. We can project its height to be uh may I hold on to this? I'd like to examine this more closely at the hall. We need we were out to ask you to do just that. Should you learn anything of interest, be sure to let us know. And there you have it, Ronald. For now, we have what to wait. In the meantime, perhaps you'd like to acquaint yourself with other lands and the resources they hold. I dare say it would be an interest to a visitor such as you. Feel free to gather as you see fit. You're, you're respectful of nature, I believe, and won't take more than she could give. What's that? What's oh, food? Yay! You discovered the requested items. You're the seeker. Seeker of the Samuel. So it's like custom deliveries, but we don't thankfully have to wait. Ah, oh, there you are, my friend. You'll be pleased to hear that Mal has finished his analysis. We don't have to actually wait a whole day for it. As we had first assumed, the particular specimen you recover comes from no beast we're familiar with. While we don't have conclusive evidence as to the identity of its owner, we're certain that it's a tremendously large creature. A creature not unlike the Samuel. There's just one problem. By the time you found the claw fragment that had already lain there for several moons. This means that its owner has likely left on Morang and the trail is cold. But be not disheartened. We practically established a Samuel existence and that is a Samuel sized step in our quest. Moreover, we have promising new information. It comes from a Century at the ancestor in Axena Gate. According to the fellow, he was out on patrol a few nights ago when he felt a rhythmic tremor. He rounded up his comrades and they set out to investigate what they should find, but nothing at all. Not even a low field mouse. There was just an oddly muggy gust of wind. Unnerved by the strangeness of it all, the sentries decided to beat a hasty retreat. You smell that, Rana? It's the glorious stench of the sun <laughs> off right here in Lakeland. Time is of the essence if we, if we are to track it down. To that end, I want you to take yourself to the thirstless streets. Sure, and look for more evidence of the creature. Not any sort of evidence this time, mind you, but it's droppings. The further the better. Oh no. I'm like, what? Oh, why? I know, Ronald. But it's for a good cause. A steaming, high written pile of excrement. It's the veritable repository of knowledge. We just need to be willing to go elbow deep to extract it. Uh, so please, gather as much of the brown, pugnant stuff as you can. How do you know it's brown? It could be any color. You better hope it's not red. I knew I could depend on you. I await your return with bated breath. At least the stench makes me queasy. Come on. 
it's been updated. Mm. I wouldn't dream of depriving any of the droids of having one's nose in feces in order to help God. What did she say the first thing? There is much to be learned from an animal's droppings, from its identity and dire. You need 18, so. From Lakeland. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. I don't like this quest. I don't like any of this. I want everybody to know that. It should be a 70, right? Can it be a 75? No. It's gonna be a 70. You said it cruiser's gate. I think I know where it is now. Go all the way down. I have to become a miner, don't I? Animal droppings. Okay. The 
18. Got it. Yeah, that was kind of annoying. I just didn't know where to go with that. All right, if we go find more weird stuff, please. Much to be learned from an animal's droppings. From its identity, to its diet, and its diet, to its physical condition. What that I could do, analyzing myself, but I wouldn't dream of depriving Yalana of the joy of having one's nose and feces, nor you the joy of looking for it. Oh, to Solon you go. You just, that's disgusting. You have to be disgusting. Good work. My, you'll have to go far. You'll have to go far to find pressure plumper droppings. Thank you for these beauties, my friend. I shall see them through Yalana's hands while they're still steaming. That's disgusting. Why do you have to be detailed about that? I don't, it will sadden you to hear this, but we have no further need of droppings. Even as we speak, Yolana is compiling the results of her preliminary analysis. Let's pay her a visit, shall we? I don't want to. I don't want to do this quest anymore. <laughs> Excellent timing, Chief. I'm ready to present my results. Ronald, I wasn't expecting you to... Don't tell me the chief has roped you into her obsession. I am doing this willingly. I had never, chief. I hope you thanked Ronald profusely. Remember, Ronald, you don't have to do this. You can stop whenever you like. The chief is ob oblivious to the discomfort of others. You have to make it crystal clear when you've had enough. Else oblivious she will remain. Wow. Right. The results. So my preliminary analysis of the X-Ray. Have they established that it belongs to no beast we have in our records? There were traces of the shoots like lands trollish trees, suggesting that the creature possesses a calorie stature. That is all I have for now. I will conduct a deeper analysis in order to learn about the creature's behavior. Oh, you certainly are ready and willing when it comes to Ronald. Excuse me if I'm a little jealous. And you'll excuse me if I'm not wholly fond of those who are or won't to make a nuisance of themselves. Besides, if there's a creature out there that is unknown to us, it's our duty to shed light on it. Oh, finally having some fun, are we? I know you'd come. I knew you'd come around. That's not exactly my motivation. At any rate, I'll be in touch again with the deep, with the detailed results. Arnold, I'm sure the chief will pass the information you'll be fortunate to see to send you off on another errand. Precisely. Until then, my friend, do keep your gathering skills sharp. We will have needed them. Of course. Yay. Chaser of the Seminole. I don't know. Oh, you've come at a good time. Even as we speak, Yalana's making her way here with fresh tidings. Yay! Apologies for the wait. I'm determined more. I've determined more details of the beast we suspect to be Samuel. A deeper analysis of the droppings revealed that the creature had consumed vegetation found all found across all of Nerva. This tells us that we are dealing with a migrating herbivore. 
Furthermore, swallows pebbles to aid with digestion, consumes mineral rich soil. Of most interest, however, is the fact that said vegetation was largely compiled, composed of plants native to Ilmeg. Amazing art, Lalana. Thanks to you, we now know where to take our search. But Ilmeg of all places, that's reckless even by my standards. What, does the O A named Ilmeg? Not strike terror into you? Wait, could it be? Rumor has it a dauntless man recently set foot into the forbidden land. Could that individual be you? Uh-huh. Well, that explains your other nonchalant. Nonchalance at the prospect of facing the Fey menace. Would you be willing to venture into Ilmeg once more for a noble cause? Wonderful, wonderful. For a moment, I fear that the efforts of the Samuel Search Squad would come to a premature end. But thanks to our brave captain, we may continue our good work. The Samuel Search Squad? You made up such a thing? Hey, Lano is our esteemed captain. Why, I'm his trusty intelligence officer. You and my lad are both Members, of course, though I can promote you to deputy captain if you prefer. So, Ronald, this time we ask that you venture into an area known as Tim's Guinness and Ilmeg and gather vegetation that the Samuel has fed on. I speak of particularly. Virtually chewed plants and the like. Of course. Please deliver what you find to the chief. That way, he can have some actual work to keep her occupied and out of trouble. Chief, I expect you to bring me the specimens without delay. Is that clear? Commence. Yes. Let us commence. Uh, uh, Omeg, Omeg, Omeg. What's that like? Yeah, we're actually close. Link. Have to be a bot for this one. It's good to finally get stuff done. This is a quest, like, doing this has been something that I've tried so hard to get to, but I've just been so busy. There we go, Mega Puna and Leftovers.
What am I targeting? Come on, dude. Probably gonna be something I do all night. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, what a the samurai is beginning to transcend legend and take real physical shape. I can't wait to see what else we'll learn from the plant parts. You find an ill mag. There you go. Oh ho, whatever whatever bit into this was ravenous. My coin is on the samurai. Exit fine, my friend. I'll deliver it to Yalana. Hey, carry on my way, script. Thanks to you, we have all the specimens we need. Malana, Yalana, is carrying out her analysis even as we speak. And though she won't admit it, it's plain she's enjoying herself. And small wonder. For we stand at the cusp of making one of the greatest discoveries the animal kingdom has ever seen or should that be never seen while we were we found ample evidence of the creature's activities we haven't caught so much as a glimpse of its scaly skin this is spite of its prodigious size i don't know how to explain it we must think on it some more Is you an unveiler of the samurai? A new quest continuing the story to search for today is now available. This is the deliveries list will be updated. Ah, shedding light on the myth. Yes, this is truly a mystery. We know that the Samuel is out there. It's left plenty of evidence of its passage. So why can't we find it? We have a problem. Yalana, you should know better than to run off. Run at full tilt. You're an ac academic. You're liable to kill yourself. Never mind me, it's Mal. He's gone off the ill make to search for the... Damn it, alone. What? The other researchers, they blamed him for putting the idea of the samurai into your head. It's because of you, she's chasing some fool myth, they jeered. Valor couldn't bear her barbs, and in his anger, he rushed off a little more than the clothes on his back. There's no time to waste, so we must find him before he runs afoul of the fairies. The chief, what if we run afoul? What if we run afoul of the fairies? I'll find him. We'll have Ronald with us. He has friends among the pixies. All right. Oh. Hmm. I see. Yes. We'd be much assured if you could ta ask the pixies of Lenore after where Mal's whereabouts. Oh boy. Uh, you see to that, Yalana and I will cast around by the entrance. Come and find us after you've made your inquiries. Now then, let us hurry. Why do I get the feeling I know how this is gonna set up? That the thing they 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 saw was probably the trick of a pixie. Hmm, that mortal is your friend, you say. Had I known that, I would agree to him with a sh shove into the lake. Mortals 
come here to play. Nobody told me that. That's not fair. I'm so bored. Bored, bored, bored. I want to play when I'm too. You guys don't know how to play. Green thumb. Mm -hmm. The man with the big ears? Oh, yes, I know the one. I was chasing him as a matter of fact. Unfortunately, I lost sight of him west of the lake. If I see him again, I'll turn him into a cute leaf man. Here is somewhere near Longmere Lake. Trying to take word to the others who await you at Primary Gate. There you are. Were you able to learn anything? Crudely? Thank you, Ronald. We could not have located him without your help. Come. Let's make haste to log mirror like quickly and quietly. That's it. Okay. Taking a drink. <laughs> Ronald, I'm so sorry for the for all the trouble. And so you should be. The chief alone is enough of a handful. I can't chase you down as well. But the others, they spoke ill of the chief. I just couldn't stand by and take it. I know it was reckless of me to come out here alone, but thanks to that, I was able to find an actual part of the same arrow. There's just one problem. In my haste, I forgot my tools, Ronald. To have yours. Could you do the collecting in my stead? Mm-hmm. Makes you wonder. I just shred of scaly skin. I spotted it in this area of tourniquets after noticing rub marks on the trees and rocks. Okay. Ancient arrow skin. I screwed up. Okay. So, did you find the shed? Red? Yes, I did. Here you go. Hmm. Can I lick it? Hmm. Wow, well, it's a little on the shriveled side. This is indeed skin from the creature. It was like it was likely multi, a multi creature. That's one more thing we know about it. I can't wait to see what else this specimen can tell us. No way. That's a What? I don't see anything. Me neither. That's odd. It was there a moment ago. And it's shape I swear it matches that of the shadow I saw in Alo. I don't know how, but it it likely disappeared in the blink of an eye. Ronald, you saw it too, didn't you? It wasn't just my imagination. It was right there and I missed it. Ah, oh, of all the rotten luck. Tell me, what did it look like? What was the color, smell, size? Chief, perhaps we should save the questions for after we leave this place. Even with Ronald, it may be not be entirely safe for us here. Yes, you got the right of it. It wouldn't do to have the fairies get their hands on our precious specimen. Come, let's return to the Crystallia.
It was... It's a brontosaurus. That is not a monster you want to be messing with. Even if it is a vegetarian. Don't you guys know monsters? Things... They can cast Meteor and Comet and Horror with their spells. We really don't know how they do it, but they just do. I think the I think the Brontosaurus is in FF six can cast Comet. Oh, and they can ask they can cast Ultima. Well, that was certainly a harrowing outing, but it wasn't without its without fruit. In the form of a piece. In the form of a piece of the samurai itself, I ah, feel the scaly texture in my hands and breathe in its mysterious smell. Pure bliss, I tell you. Alas, Yalana snatched it from me before I could have a little taste. But now we'll just have to leave her to her task. I'm sure she's, she'll have new information for us before long. You do not wander far. Wow, oh, Ronald, I was hoping you'd come by. I have a favor to ask you. Oh boy, I can't wait. I've been pondering the recent episode in Ilmeg, where the samurai vanished as suddenly as it appeared. However, it managed to do that. I believe that is the key to its elusiveness. Well, I have my theories. The little shred of skin you found us. Isn't it enough to draw a decisive conclusion? So do it. We need more specimens, Ronald. As many as you can find. So based on you and on the count, we confirm that the creature is akin to a lizard. A bit massive. From this, we may assume that it sheds its skin by rubbing off the outer layer a little at a time. Having accomplished this exhausting task, I think Gal's is on food to regain its strength. Combining this assumption with our knowledge that the creature migrates in search of lush vegetation, we can ascertain where we most likely find its skin. This is Rachika, the luscious forest in Narava. If I were a samurai looking to have a feast, that's where I would take myself. Capable captain as you are, even the secluded domain of the village, Ought to pose no actual for you. And this brings us to your next task. Step forward for Rectica, my friend. For the blind forest of Ax Yax Yaxmaja. And gather the Samuel skin. So the skin what are the skin the creature has shed with? We will shed light on the creature. Yeah. Okay. There it is, another one. Yay. So what am I looking for exactly? Oh. Wait. I've seen that. Blind forest. Is it gonna lie? Because I don't know if it's day or night. But it's night, so no lies.
it says we're leaving. Come on, game. Just as I went back, just when I'm in the middle of a teleport back out of there, it's like, it just starts it up. It's like, ah. Oh. Ah, uh, to behold the samurai with my own eyes, the skin, my friend. You must bring us more shreds of the creature of the creature's skin from the blind forest. I did. Don't worry. Last night, I asked for shreds of skin, and you bought me a ver uh, a veritable. A veritable, veritable tapestry. This will tell us many a tale about its owner. Yay. My thanks for gathering these specimens, Ronald. I'm pleased to see that the Samuel has indeed, was indeed shredding its skin in Rectica. Now based on the, the cursory Inspection. Yolanda believes that all the specimens probably came from the same creature. This worries me, Ronald. What if this proves to be the last surviving creature? Yeah, of course, it may be that the beasts are solitary in nature. It may be that Yolanda is mistaken. But it avails us not to worry about such things at this time for now we can but wait for the results of the analysis truly the samuel is a mystery among mysteries i won't rest until i know everything about it are you with me rana but of course you are behind that icy counter countenance your heart burns do you uncover the truth now tell me my inimitable in inimitable captain why do you think the samurai is so elusive no need to overthink it say whatever comes to your mind and change its size Change its size, you say. We assume that the Samurai is a massive beast. But it may behoves us to step back and reconsider the notion. This gives us much to mull over. I'll be certain to share your, your theory with Yolanda and her colleagues. You never know, it could well be the spark that eliminates the mystery. And now that we have so many shreds of skin, surely when be spared. Yes, just a little taste. Don't eat the skin. Oh, fine, then I won't eat it. Yet, it couldn't hurt once your Yolanda's done with them, right? Speaking of which, I should deliver them to her. Rest assured, I'll keep your apprise. I'll keep you apprised of any developments. Mark my words, Ronald. Next time we, next time we will find the Samuel, and it will be glorious. See that you keep your tools honed and your steps spry. craziness she wants to eat the skin how's that for disturbing protector of the samurai i know class condition is now available 80 okay so we're at the final quest the myth takes form oh boy you're here good now we may set it. Chief, I believe it's customary to tell people where they're going and why. Permit me, Yano, Ronald. Based on my analysis of the skin, we identified the Samuel's primary habitat. There were traces of salt, you see, and I surmise that for reasons yet unknown to us, this particular creature has made a journey across the seas. The question that it's whence did it come? It did not take long to determine that 
Pelusia is the only location remaining to the to sustaining megafauna. Um what's more we understand now, my friend. We understand how the Sarah has managed to elude us for so long. Again, the secret lies in its in the skin. Contains the self same manner that makes up crystals, formed in such a way as to resemble glamour prisms. Traveling for the Exarch's homeland, these marble objects can be used to cast illusions. Illusions, rock. Conceal something of that size takes a precious amount of magic, truly. The Samuel is an amazing beast, though the plan is to find their habitat and dispel their illusion. But as we need to prepare a special powder, this main ingredient has to also be found in Colusia. How very neat. I'll share the details after we arrive at our destination. The monstrous rocky part of Colusia, aptly named Scree. Come, we have a meeting with the Samuel. So its body, its skin is designed of the same materials that create a glamour prism and thus it can hide itself by creating an illusion around itself. AKA it can make itself vanish if it wants to. It can make it it can make itself like disappear and other things. Or look like something else. See, told you it knows things. And like they said, it holds. It takes a lot of magic to create an illusion like that. So, yeah, wait till it casts his ultima on you, and then you'll be like, "What in the world?" And before anyone says, "Oh, ultima can't be used because Alec used it," technically, we're on the first. This is happening on the first. So the rules for Ultima can be completely different. It could just it could be a spell that people can learn on their own. So the main ingredient I mentioned earlier, the substance called black aether seed, sand. It can be found in this area. If you can gather the stuff for me, I will use it to prepare the dispelling powder. In the meantime, we'll search the area for the Saramel's domain. I'm coming for you, my pretty Creepy. I hate to say it, but there's still so much to do in this game. Like, I've been playing this game for years, and I still have stuff to do in it. But it's going to change. I'm going to push to get stuff done. Okay, judging by, I guess it takes like an hour. I want to say it takes an hour and a half to do this. All the whole quest line of each one of these. So, I think I can get up. I can get them all done if I push. But I have to sacrifice the fact that what I need to get to level eighty, like seventy-one, for my job. So how fair is the search? Do you have the black ether stand for me? Yep. Hmm. Can I eat that? Yes. This is sufficiently pure, pure stuff, and an ample amount of it besides. I'll prepare the dispelling powder at once.
It's ready. I must say, I never thought the little bit of alchemy I dabbled in would ever come in handy. Of course, I couldn't have made it without the fine ingredient you bought me, Ronald. During your short time with us, you've proven yourself instantly capable. You could use, and we could use someone like you in the facet. Might you be persuaded to officially join our ranks? I thought I already had. I need it elsewhere. I can't be bogged down by everything. But of course you are. Your many talents would be wasted in one place. There is a beauty in wild beasts, a pureness born of the unshackled lives they lead. You exude the same air as them, Ronald. I hope you never lose it. But come, I have work to do. Will you believe the Samuel is nearby? And I want you to do the honors. Release the powder from yonder vintage point and all shall be revealed. See it like the oh. 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 Amazing, they're even bigger than I thought. This truth exists, you were right, Chief. You were right all along. Was but even I wasn't expecting to find an entire herd and what young beside the island must be their sanctuary away from Voluntary of the mainland. Curious that the herd can function without seeing one another. They must have some means of communication via cries and audible to our ears, perhaps? See, when they ordinarily remain hidden, why do you suppose the creature in anime showed itself to us? A good question. Uh, this is merely a hypothesis, but that beast, I believe, was smitten. What? No. S smitten? In the middle of courtship, in other words, in order to wane over a female, I imagine it must exhibit itself, show that it's healthy and strong. So it engages in reckless acts to gain the attention of the opposite sex, just like people. Wait, does that mean there was another Sarah nearby at the time? And what do you suppose they do when mating? Would they really deal themselves as well? Another good question. Considering their massive brains, perhaps they take to the water. But whatever they enter is rest assured. We'll find it soon enough, along with many others. You guys can find it. I'm done with this. Finding her was only the beginning, my friends. Exciting days of study and research awaits us. Oh. You've been noticed. We should give them some space. Animals were young to be unpredictable, and it would be an impediment of our work were they to grow weary of us. But my friends, let us return to the Crystorium. I they say we achieved enough for one day. Hmm. That should be it, right? That should be everything for this quest line. Hey. Yeah, it takes about a half hour and a half. I'm thinking of just putting in the... Like, when I do the next one, I'm just, I had to split it. I had to, like, cut the... 
cut the recording, like stop it for a moment to do that one part. But other than that, yeah. For the rest, I'll just put it all together in one. Brief though it was, I'll never forget my first sight of the Samuel. I can't wait to begin our study of the creature in earnest. Study is all well and good, Chief, but I'll remind you not to neglect your other duties at the passing. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Well, Yolanda, judging by your own excitement, it seems you enjoyed it. Though less than any of us. Of course I enjoy it. It's not often I get the chance to study such an ancient life form. There's so much we stand to learn. From their metabolism, to their behavior, to their society. When light swallowed up the world, it not only decimated innumerable species of life, it wreaked habit on the balance of nature, but led to the extinction of yet more species. That's to say, all life that has survived is a miracle, Ronald. Yours, mine, and of course the Samuels. I was born after the flood, like most folk. We know only what exists now, and little and less of what came before. But I believe, Ronald, I believe that one day life will return to where light now rules. That the world will return to the way it once was. And so I labor to conserve the precious resources we have, still have. But the lives that will blossom on the morrow will ri arise from the seeds of today. We'll study the samurai and protect their habitat, that they might still roam these lands in a thousand years and beyond. Of course, you can't do this without Yolan. And I'm out in their brilliant minds. Are you trying to voice more work on us, I see? But against my better judgment, you have my cooperation, Chief. After all, without me keeping watch, you'd go off gallivanting again, given half a chance. You can count on me as well. I, for one, am keen to see what other mysteries can be attributed to the Samuel. Oh, boy. Well, Ronald, under your fine leadership, the Samuel Search Squad has fulfilled its purpose. Sad that it is, it's time for us to disband. I don't doubt you'll remain busy with your mirror of other pursuits, but I hope you won't forget about us. Should you come into our of interest on your adventures, be sure to let us know so I can sneak off to find it. Yeah, it's an hour and a half quest. If you do it, like if you could, if you. If you're capped in like you have completed all of the she now considers you honorary captain of there may be other folk and the crystal I mean who uses who could use her assistance. And I just ask around, yeah. Uh hey, you found any rare I'd love nothing more to be out there and about like you, but I reason but I'm resigned to behaving myself for a while. It's all fun and games if y'all wanna. Alone is annoying, but Callus, it's another matter. Yeah. You do not want to anger. Ah, uh, that too. All right, so what's next, the recording? Terrorist member. Carpenter, leather worker, and weaver. That'll be later. Because I'm gonna run and do. I'm gonna do a dungeon or two so I can get a level of my black mage. And then we'll do another one. <laughs>